no vuga yuko kijya kibazo cyane cyane bavuga ko ari intambara ya yo kwishira no kwizana ham eh, intambara iri hagati yo kwishira no kwizana no no gucinyiza abanyagihugu batwaho twe twibaza yuko aho tuhagaze nuku na nubwigenge bw'abarundi nukwishira nukwiza no twe dwagaza eh ikrene uwabare bwaba bwaba bwabanya ikrene nubabare bw'abarundi no munsi eh imana abanya ikrene baronse nuko baronse ifasha ari kubabare bw'abanya ikrene no babare abarundi bafise mu munsi kuko abarundi igihugu cyabo kiri occupé nababica nababangaza nababarenganya cyo kimwe nabanya Ukraine ico gusa dusaba nuko natwebwe imiborogo amarira akarenganya turi mu isi yose iyo bibona uko babonye bya Ukraine nabo dohagaze j'ai bien dit lors de ma communication que la situation en Ukraine euh, c'est une situation qui préoccupe le monde entier mais que euh, nous en tant que burundais nous ne pouvons pas prendre une position étanche d'un côté ou de l'autre côté nous avons opté pour une position abstentionniste neutre de non alignement pourquoi parce que nous savons pas comment euh, cette situation va évoluer donc c'est pour cela euh, que nous avons pris cette position sur base des principes et valeurs auxquels nous croyons nous prenons nos positions non pas sur base des pressions politiques d'autres pays étrangers mais sur la base de notre document de politique étrangère et sur la base aussi de nos principes et valeurs auxquels nous croyons euh, ce que je peux dire aussi par rapport à ce dossier c'est que nous allons euh, continuer de suivre de très près vous savez que euh, les positions diplomatiques ne sont jamais statiques euh, et les évoluent au rythme du temps donc notre aussi euh, notre euh, notre position aussi va euh, être évaluée au fil du temps et pourra éventuellement être réajustée selon euh, la situation diplomatique euh, du moment. have seen uh, during also with regard to Russia that um, the decision after UN General, General Assembly on March, 2nd of March, that 24 African countries abstained and nine voted against to remove Russia from the Human Rights Council. So what about our values? Uh, and also what we saw in the last uh, ECP EU Assembly, we failed to have a resolution. So we see a little bit uh, some political problems or maybe different uh, how, it, how different approaches. How can we? So my, I'm worried, and I would like like to ask the Commission to put this also in the center of the political dialogue you are having with African countries. Nous avons un réel problème avec certains de nos partenaires africains qui se sont sinon alignés sur la position russe, du moins reste hésitant entre un pays qui écrase les autres et quand même. Les, les valeurs auxquelles ils ont souscrit dans le cadre de no, notre partenariat, renouvelées à chaque occasion, je crois qu'il y a là un réel problème et un réel défi pour le dialogue politique avec ces pays euh, africains. Et euh, on voit la, la façon dont certains pays européens sont euh, évincés euh, des, des pays où ils ont une longue tradition de coopération. On sait qui est derrière. Hein, au Mali, si l'ambassadeur de France est envoyé, c'est parce que derrière la, la société Wagner, il y a Poutine, hein, et ce n'est pas le seul pays. Et ils ont une stratégie claire pour euh, euh, nous faire apparaître comme des, euh, comme des malfaiteurs au lieu des, des, aux, aux yeux des Africains. Oui, je pense que nous devons remember 
that those countries who decided to abstain in the vote in the UN, it was not against us. And we have been assessing carefully, country by country, that what are the reasons behind their behaviour, why they decided to abstain. And I have to say that it's definitely not very black and white situation, that there are many different kind of reasons why they decided to, you know, not take the side. Uh, I personally see that um, from the EU perspective, we should try to avoid a situation where the world is divided to two parts, so that there is a permanent division between the West and the rest of the world. And that's why I am very committed to this approach that we need to engage, we need to reach out our partners globally. Even though the Ukraine is our main priority at the moment and we want to end that war immediately, uh, we cannot turn our back on the rest of the world. Because we will definitely need partners more than ever in the future. And that's why uh, I personally think that uh, I understand that it, it is a disappointment for us that so many countries didn't want to take a, a decision. But I think it's important uh, to keep on working with them, trying to explain why those values are so important for us and also, uh, you know, listen to them and, and try to understand that what were the reasons why they, uh, they uh, behaved like that. And I, because uh, I think it was um, Madame Bentele who raised that the idea to include that to be part of the political dialogue, I always ask that. When I meet, you know, leaders, and, and uh, I was just recently in Africa, I, traveling, I travel a lot, I always raise that, you know, that could you explain me, I want to understand what, why you didn't want to take side. And very often it's like, you know, the historical reasons, or then it's like, yeah, I saw this, uh, you know, as a geopolitical competition between the West and East, between the Russia and US, and we don't want to take sides. So there are different kind of reasons, but I personally, uh, I personally don't think that the punishing is the right approach. I, I personally think that even though we are disappointed, we have to engage, we have to reach out, and we have to strengthen the partnership with the rest of the world, even though Ukraine is the priority.